Part 6. Installing backup build on your custom build Aeon Knox skin for Cody. And a big thanks to Big Noid for developing the Aeon Knox skin and visit Cody.tv for more information. What's up guys, it's XBM Connect here and this is the last part of uh, the Aeon Knox uh, customized build skin on any device that you had that's running Cody. So right now I've uh, actually put my USB drive uh, flash drive into my computer and this is the the backup that we did uh, of um, the build which is 123 megabytes so it's really small and then I've actually uh, downloaded the plugin which uh, will be down on the description below I'll give you a link to actually um, to download the file rather than doing the repository and then uh, so it's much easier so you'll have these two files, uh, and then the folder you did, uh, Cody, Aeon Knox Build 327. So you're just going to go ahead and uh, open up the, the USB, and then you're just going to dump this in there. And then wait a few uh, seconds for it to, uh, to actually load up in there. So um, the megabytes of the backup zip is uh, small that's because we've taken off the, the metadata and all that other stuff on there so let that uh, for a while it's about to be t 10 more seconds a few more seconds now this way um, when you have the USB file on your uh, your backup zip then you could actually import it to any uh, Kodi device that you have whether it's uh, Windows or PC uh, Mac or Linux or open the leck or Android uh, Kodi on your XBMC devices so it, it varies you could actually transfer it uh, to anybody and if you do make some changes um, I recommend you uh, saving another build and erasing the previous one and then changing the date so now that that's completed we're gonna go ahead and move on to the XBMC device which I am using a street smart uh, TV device so we'll head on to that one all right so now that you uh, tr uh, transferred the file onto the USB and from your uh, computer uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the uh, the XBMC device or Kodi device that you have or uh, Windows or uh, Linux or open a leck this will be all the same but I'm doing mine's on the Android um, device so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the USB now within a few seconds you're gonna see uh, right next to the Wi-Fi on the top right is um, a little sign that looks like a USB or um, a thorn or whatever a rake anyway that means the USB is plugged in now we did have a, a Kodi build on here and the first thing you're gonna do if you want a clean install you're gonna go to settings and then go to your Android settings and then right here you're gonna go ahead and go to apps and then where it says Kodi up top see how it says 683 that means uh, it's built up from all your metadata your cache and everything else so what we're gonna do is click on clear data and then go ahead and click OK and give it a few seconds um, it's deleting everything that uh, you previously have so make sure uh, this is what you really want to do before you delete everything so right now as you can see it's zero um, data on it so it's like from the beginning that you had um, when you first experienced it on Kodi so we're gonna go ahead and go out of it and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the XBMC logo on the icon. I'm using a streamsmart.tv uh, device. Make sure uh, you guys check them out. And um, the description below, there'll be a, a link to their website. And make sure um, you check their device out. We're going to wait for a few seconds. Even though it, um, this is their uh, screen look. Uh, I'm going to show you right now that we are on Kodi. 
see right there Cody uh, XBMC 14 point zero so it's still on Cody just to, uh, just to let you know so we're gonna go to system we're gonna go down to settings we're gonna go to add-ons and we're gonna go ahead and install from zip file and as you can see I have my USB plugged in there already it's which is the SDA one I'll click on it and then your Cody Aonox build folder will be on there and then you'll see two files. Now the first file we're going to use is the USB wizard. Go ahead and click on that and it'll install it. And then the bottom right corner that it has been enabled. So you're going to click on that and you're going to go to programs. And then you're going to go to programs again. And you're going to repeat the step uh, of um, locating the location of your uh, backup zip. So we're going to go get, go ahead and click on it. Obviously a script failed. Now you're just going to bring up the main menu uh, by pressing the menu button on your remote or the C on your keyboard and go to add on settings and then we're going to fi find the destination. So you're going to go revert back to your USB and then go to that folder. Obviously you're not going to see anything here. It's going to be blank. So don't panic but you know that it's in this folder. Right. So go ahead and click OK and click OK and then go ahead, go ahead and click on the USB wizard instead of backing up you're gonna go ahead and click on restore and then go ahead and click on full restore now you're gonna see this thing come up now don't be afraid if you don't see this come up that means your device is a little slower to pick it up but uh, give it some time you'll start seeing this it'll be probably um, in the percentage of uh, almost halfway if that so don't don't panic um, sometimes it might get stuck after it does a hundred percent that's okay uh, you could always uh, unplug it and then turn it back on and then you should be good to go so let's see so it does a hundred percent and it looks like it's gonna restart so obviously nothing has changed right um, nothing yet so we're gonna go ahead and uh, quit this and then we're gonna see if it actually I have my USB still there just to make sure the build is on there. So we're going to go ahead and click on uh, the XBMC logo or your Cody logo. And you should start seeing that's the splash we made. But the difference is the, the skin is not on there. So we're going to go to system, go to settings, go to appearance, go to confluence. And then you're going to see A1 Knox. And then go ahead and click. And uh, should tell me yes or no. But if uh, my window prompt didn't come up, just go ahead and click yes if that came up to you too. And then as you can see, um, there's some stuff that's still on here. But that's okay. Um, at least your, your, your menus are all on there. Your TV shows, the menus that you created, the live TV, and then apps. Obviously, there's no kids. Um, we're just going to go ahead and do it again. We're going to go to apps and programs. And then go to USB wizard. Uh, and then click the menu again. And then add on settings. And then obviously, it's in the desktop. This is where the computer was. Uh, we're going to go ahead and revert to um, our old one. Go to your USB go to the folder again and go ahead and click OK and just restart it this doesn't do nothing uh, just to um, don't worry it'll fix it uh, go ahead and click on it and then just try to restore again um, if it doesn't help so I'm doing it as possible as you as you can see right now get a few more seconds let that restore sometimes you actually have to uh, reboot your whole device and, and there's some cases like that so if your whole skin didn't really do um, obviously the backgrounds you didn't really see it so we're gonna go ahead and try it again so this looks like it's gonna give us that error I told you if it does get stuck don't worry uh, we're gonna go ahead and there it is so now everything is back to normal so you got your um, kids and your uh, TV shows and you're good to go your backgrounds are all on there the only thing you might have to switch out is probably like the 
the RS feed up there, which you could change out, and then um, which I'll show you right now. I'll take it off, and then if you want, all the settings that you have has been imported to this. So there you go. Uh, you're basically done. And I hope this uh, tutorial helps out. Make sure you like all the videos uh, that I've made for you guys. And subscribe and tweet and share share this video. And thanks a lot for watching again. And always don't forget to add XBM Connect to all your social media.